Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. Welcome back to Three Machines. It's been a minute. We are here in New York with our new dog, Kendra. If you guys haven't met her, she's on she's on my Instagram. Yep, right there. And she's awesome. She's she's dark gray. I don't know what exactly she is. She kind of looks like a kind of a little bit of a lab and something else and pit bull and now she's off. Kendra, get over. Holy cats, we almost lost her the first 20 seconds of the video. Okay, we gotta go back inside. This is what I get for letting the dog out. Anyways, Jason was supposed to come here yesterday. There was a weather warning or whatever in effect. So he didn't come out yesterday. He should have because the roads were better. Now it's like crazy bad and he's, he's coming out now. Big wind, big snow. Yes, it's gonna be windy and there will be snow. So if he came out yesterday, stayed the night, then he could take off tonight when the weather is supposed to break. But instead, he's gonna send it now. I've managed to find the target. Now I gotta somehow persuade her to come inside. That worked. Come on, Kendra. Let's go. Come on. Anyways, I had to plug in the Duramax. Well, I didn't have to, but it's easier on it because it's a diesel. So she's plugged in, she's been on for about four hours. So let's see what she looks like when it starts. We gotta do this for the gram. Oh, not too bad. It definitely pays to plug these things in. Diesel life. Hey dude, whereabouts are you? Just past the Baghdad Road. Okay, so you're like really close. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm gonna get a shot of you coming in because this stuff is deep. Is it? Yeah, it's deep. All right, I'll make sure I'm in four wheel. <laughs> oh no, come on, it's, okay, whatever. It's, it's, your, <laughs> it's up to you. You can't disgrace the Chevy, man. Well, dude, I weigh like 7,000 pounds and I, I could get stuck if I wanted to. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. We've got chains. Yep, yes, that we do. We have come alongs too. Alright, we'll All right. see we'll see you in a second. This truck sounds good. He made it. He drove like two and a half hours. How's your trip, buddy? A little greasy. Yeah? Like the last portion, huh? Like the last hour? Yeah, from only on up. Yeah, I had a little bit of spin action. Yeah. <laughs> Did I mention in the last 3D Machines production that I finished welding this over here? There, the Two of these brackets here uh, needed to be cut off and re-welded, so I welded that one on there and the one that the radio is sitting on there. Jason looks like, yep, he just finished up the brake line. That, this is our last brake line, right? Last one. On the, on the Jeep, so that's done there. And then we managed to hook up the steering linkage, so now our steering wheel corresponds with our steering gearbox, which is down there, so that's awesome. Had to take the uh, one of the pipes off the turbo to get in here for the, the brake. How many vacuum leaks we down to? Oh, we got a problem, buddy. Uh, I don't like that. What's... That is the wrong end. What does that mean? It means this is bigger than this. Is That's it... got a different, different thing on there. Yeah, I wonder if I wonder if he has an adapter. Oh, he better have an adapter. <laughs> well, here's the old brake line. Here we can see what this used. Oh yeah. And on, on yesterday's upload, I almost killed myself with that thing.
it. So you guys missed it. We actually took this thing off road and we went to the desert and uh, came back and now we're just uh, see the sand. That's the proof. We w we went to the desert. We sw we swear. Jason's gonna play in it later and then uh, take it to his cat and then you'll have free kitty litter. Oh. <laughs> The engine sounds awesome. It, the turbo sounds awesome. Now we're working on the suspension, the the drivetrain, and the way this thing's going to go down the road. And since we're using a Ford rear end, a beefier rear end, we actually have to cut our brand new uh, long arm kit. So this is the upper arm for the rear. I have to take two inches off of this, actually an inch and a half. But we're gonna go two and a half inches, so that way this can this extends out. So that way, we got enough play, we'll do it once and we won't have to do it again. There's four arms in the back here, we should only have to cut two. So we have the rear axle completely dismantled, or it's off of the frame right now and you guys miss it. I completely flew off the handle You can ask Jason. I like chucked the hammer and <laughs> just flipped out so bit. right Jason Slightly. Slightly. Well, I chucked I chucked me. I'm just not coming back. What's that? I said you scared me. I'm just not coming back <laughs> Yeah, so I I'm, I'm a little ticked off right now. I'm not a fan of these rear long arms They they should be a turnbuckle style so that way you can just put them on and then adjust them but that's not how this is designed. How it's designed is you actually have to take them off, adjust them, put them back on. I had to get this uh, mutt of a universal joint here uh, because it has to fit both the Ford and Jeep specs. So this, this is two different uh, dimensions right here. So I have to take this universal joint out and replace it with this one. And then I'll have to bolt this up to the uh, transfer case uh, shortening bracket thing. That sucker right there, because originally that yoke used to come way out here, but now it's shrunk in due to the shortener there. This is what we got going on right now, kind of. And then this was on there as well. So you can see that's a good, what, four or five inches taken off of there. I'm sorry if I'm not making much sense. It's, it's late and I'm mentally exhausted. Jason just left. Basically what we had to accomplish tonight was get the rear end more towards the front so that our drive shaft would work, our angles would work, uh, our wheels once they go on fit in the wheel well better and just try to get this thing so that when it does go down the road it's a little bit more straight than it was before it was very cattywampus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. This is the Jeep. I'm 3D Machines. We'll see you later.